In this second video, I'm going to show you how to create a seamless pattern, put it in practice while we learned about Memphis style. We're going to start creating our canvas, a square one, 1500 by 1500, with a 150 dpi. To create a seamless pattern, we're going to start by marking the center. We go to View, Grid, Ruler, Vast Settings and click on the center at the start point of Grid. Then on Grid Settings, we're going to write 100 in gap and 1 on number of divisions. Now with the read mark in the center, we can drag the rulers to it. We're going to lock the rulers layer and hide the grid. As all of our elements are very simple geometric shapes, we're going to start by creating the figures with the figure tool. We can do every shape in a different layer and merge them when we're done or do all of them in the same layer from the beginning. With all the shapes created, we do Ctrl A, left click over the layer, convert layer and change the type as image material layer. If we don't do Ctrl A before converting the layer, our pattern won't include the empty space of the canvas, only the shapes. We'll go to Operation, we'll go to Operation, Object and enable Tilling at the Tool property, selecting Repeat and Vertical and Horizontal. Then we'll move one of the corners to the center of the canvas, go back to layer, convert layer and change the type back to raster layer. That way we'll be able to fill the gaps that appear when moving a pattern. This way we're making sure the pattern is really seamless. Once we fill the gaps and we're happy with how our pattern looks, we're going to merge the color background with our shapes. Then go back to convert layer and change it back again to image material. Make sure the tilling is enabled at the tool property before moving to the next step.
Now to create the pattern, we just need to go to edit, register material, image. Make sure that scale and tilling are both enabled, choose the folder you want to save them in and add a tag to make it easier to find. Our pattern is ready. We can go to the material window and drag it over the layer we want to put it in. We can scale it and rotate it as we want without losing quality. We can export the image that creates a pattern, go into File, Export Single Layer, JPEG. Just click OK throughout all the windows, we don't need to change anything. Now that we have our Memphis style pattern finished, we can use it for multiple things. We can use a pattern to create the background for a poster, the cover of a notebook or any other printed media we want. If there's going to be text on our project, we need to make sure it's readable with our pattern as background. Remember to export with at least 150 dpi when you're going to print your work, and if you're printing it professionally, do it in CMYK and not RGB. We could also use a pattern for digital media, for our Instagram posts, maybe as background for a video or for an ad banner. In general, we'll use a 72 dpi as resolution and always RGB as the color mode. 